actually just debating how many years we've been doing this, two years. And um, I think, I think the first memorial we laid here was the, the September Merchant Navy Day, following the day when we put that memorial in. So that'd be 2003. So I think that was the, when we, we first run it. So for a few years anyway. So nice to see you today as we um, come here for this annual annual remembrance really, remembering all those who were here in this place. And so in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We gather here together on this Merchant Navy Day to lay a wreath or wreaths in memory of those remembered here in this place. May we never forget the dangers faced by those who ply their trades upon the waters of our world. So in those famous words of William Whiting, Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm doth bind the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep its own appointed limits keep. O oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. Words from the 107th Psalm. Those who go down to the sea in ships and ply their trade in the great waters, these have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For at his word the stormy wind arose and lifted up the waves of the sea. They were carried up to the heavens and down again to the deep. Their soul melted away in their peril. They reeled and staggered like a drunkard. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. Words from the Gospel of Luke. One day Jesus got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, let us go across to the other side of the lake. And so they put out, and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. And a gale swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. And they went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. And he said to them, where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed and said to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. Saviour, whose almighty word the winds and waves submissive heard, who walkest on the foaming deep and calm amidst its rage did sleep. O oh, hear us, when we cry to thee, for those in peril on the sea. Let us pray. Lord and Heavenly Father, we commend to your keeping all who sailed the seas, guard them in danger, protect them in temptation, sustain them in loneliness, and support them in sickness and anxiety. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Sacred Spirit, who didst brood upon the chaos, dark and rude, who bathed its angry tumult cease and gave us light and life and peace, who oh, hear us when we cry to thee, to those in peril on the sea. We lay these wreaths here today. Let us remember the thousands of Bindi boys who passed this way, and also those on whose shoulders laid the responsibility of training and discipline. As we remember them, we especially call to mind all whose lives were lost in war or disaster. 
for those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure. For those whose lives were lost in the service of others. Mighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgiving for all whom we remember here this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love, and bring us all with them to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Trinity of love and power, our brethren shield in danger's hour, from rock and tempest, fire and foe, protect them wheresoe'er they go, and ever let their rise to thee, glad hymns of praise from land and sea. So may God bless all seafarers, guard the storm-bound, protect their families and give them peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you in all whom you love this day and always.